Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy Codexual, aka Hackual, and today we're going to be installing a Minecraft Bedrock Edition on our Ubuntu server here. Um, I already done a video of how to do it on a Windows dedicated server, but this is going to be for a Ubuntu server. But if you do want that Windows uh, 10 version, I will go ahead and link. Uh, stuff everything in the description and if you do not have a vps or dedicated server which you can get for free which i will also include this video of how to get a free dedicated server and you can use ubuntu or any other um, distro there is so let's go ahead and download our ubuntu server um, i'm going to assume that we're only going to be using a terminal now i'll go ahead and give out pointers if we if there's some users out there that are going to be using a uh, a GUI, a graphics user interface. But for this case scenario, I'm just going to assume that um, we are going to be tunneling in via SSH or just use some type of terminal, which that this video is going to be dedicated on towards to. So um, let's go ahead and go towards our website, then just go ahead and check mark agree. Then what we're going to do is copy our link here and let's open up a terminal and let me go ahead and start zooming in uh is that not an option okay i found the zoom in option so let's go ahead and uh, run as root so if you are on ubuntu then this command will work for you sudo space tac i then give you uh, put in the password it's asking for and we want to go towards the directory where we want to install um, our minecraft server so cd slash home slash codexual slash desktop um, this is all specific to me so wherever you want to install your minecraft server is whatever path that you want to give it um, i want to make a folder uh, called uh, mkdir for directory and we're going to give it mine we're going to name it minecraft server and we're going to type in wget and we're going to paste in our link which will download the zip file awesome now uh let's just zoom out of here just i think it's a little bit too big okay this should be fine um if your ubuntu server does not have unzip uh what you need to do is type in apt space install space unzip tech y and uh to force that install um, but i already have that installed so let's go ahead and um uh, unzip our file here. So where we we are not even in the directory. So let's go ahead and just move that uh, file towards our folder here. Uh, slash home slash actual slash uh, desktop slash oop, Minecraft server. Okay, then let's go ahead and uh, go into our Minecraft server, and we're gonna go ahead and type in unzip. Then bedrock. Uh, by the way, um, when you are typing this all out, I'm hitting the tab key so it auto fills out the uh, the path. You don't have to do that; it's just quicker that way. Um, you might have to type it all out. So, okay, now that we have our um, files here everything extracted we, what we want to do is type in ch mod space plus space asterisk now it's going to give us uh, all the permissions that we can actually run this but before we run it we're going to type in um, ls and what we want to um, edit is these server dot properties so you're going to type in pico or you can even type in nano whatever uh, but pico will do then server uh, properties and uh, you can use a um, a notepad with this so um, a graphics a graphical user face notepad so just um, it used to call G leaf but I couldn't find it but uh, you can open up a text editor and open up that file from here so 
um, what we want to do is rename our dedicated server to whatever server you want to name it. So for example, YouTube Codexual is what I want to name it. Then if you want to be in survival, then leave this how it is. Or if you want to go straight into creative, then you know just remove it with creative and so on and so forth. Uh, if you want the world to be peaceful, there's that option, easy, normal, or hard. So the NPCs will give you you know a harder time or just keep it as peaceful. Then there's no um, NPCs that are gonna go after you. Um, for me, I like to have uh, cheats on. So we're gonna put that as true. So whenever I hop in the server, I'm going to give myself op, then I can just run in um, op commands, uh, spawn NPCs, and max players. Do you want 10 players to um, be allowed? Do you want more than 10 players? Do you want 100? Oops. Oops. Do you want 100? Um, how many players do you want? Do you want 1,000? This thing keeps uh, moving. So it depends on how many uh, players that you want and if your hardware allows it and if you have the bandwidth to sustain all those players. Online mode, we want to leave as true. Um, white list. Now, let me talk a little bit about this. Um, false allows for anybody to connect towards your server. Now, there's really no banning system in uh, Minecraft where there used to be where you type in slash ban then at the player name that they're no longer able to join your server Which is kind of dumb that they took out that functionality But this is the only way to keep your server safe from griefers, but if you Want your world to be open to the public then leave this at false But if you want certain players where you have to manually approve uh, people then keep this at true. So for this case an example, I'm gonna leave as true again if you don't want um, uh, Random players leave it leave it as true, but if you want to leave it open to the world leave it as false Next thing that we have is our server port So if you need to port forward you need to port for the one nine one three two and one uh, 9133 so I'll leave a video in the description of how to port forward um, and everything else is it gives you a description of what these uh, um, functions do so uh, I'm gonna leave everything as it is we're gonna hit control O hit enter then go ahead and hit control X so now that we go back into it um, everything has been saved so um, We'll just go ahead and back out. Um, as for uh, whitelisting, uh, if we type in PICO uh, whitelist, nothing's in there yet because we have to manually um, add the gamer tag to from the console, which I'll show you how to do that. Then I'll explain a little bit more in there. So let's go ahead and run our server by typing in dot slash bedrock underscore server and uh, go ahead and hit enter. And now it's going to go ahead and start at the server. What I want to do next is open up another terminal. And we're going to go ahead and zoom in. Uh, what's this one at? Also at 100, so we're just going to keep doing this. Okay, sudo tech i, because I need to run as root. And we're gonna go into our directory where our folder's at. And uh, pico uh, whitelist uh, JSON. But uh, before we actually go into that file, let's go back, hop in our other terminal, and we need to type in whitelist add. Code actual. And uh, for other couple examples, um, whitelist add. Um, now, if the username has a space in their um, in their gamer tag, so you're gonna type in quote, then gamer tag space name here. So it has to look something like that, as long as it's within the quotes, and then you hit enter. Now, with uh, another example, since um, 
Xbox is now adapting the hashtag name thing. Uh, so let's say if uh, um, there's somebody with the name uh, username, then it has these hashtags at the end. Where where's the head? It has the hashtag, then a whole bunch of numbers. Um, it won't work like that because you need to get rid of the hashtag first, then just have the numbers in as it is. So no hashtag, then you're able to enter that in. If you want to remove that um, user from your list, then whitelist space remove, then the username. So let's go ahead and go towards our um, whitelist JSON file and type in Y. And now we can see all the users that we have whitelisted manually. So these are all the people that can come in towards our server. So let me go ahead and uh, uh, organize this a little bit. I don't like how it's in a single uh, single uh, line. It really uh, confuses some people. Nope. So. It hopefully they'll fix it and so it'll be like lines like these. But if you want to remove someone uh, manually, you can just go into the file and you know just go ahead and delete that line and uh, just restart the server and uh, you'll be good. So control O, enter, control X to get out of it. Then just go back to the server and type in stop, then start or stop to start it or type in restart and then just run the command dot slash bedrock server and now we can run the server again so let's go ahead and hop on our minecraft server this over here and we're going to go towards the servers and we're going to add it um add server then call it ubuntu then uh, the IP address of the server. Which it should be popping up here in a second. Okay, awesome. Now that we're actually in the server, you basically did it. Uh, to make yourself operator, we need to go back and type in OP, then the person's gamer tag. And now that we're operator, where is my Minecraft? Now that I'm up, so I can start doing admin commands and other commands and everything else. A um, couple of things I want to let you know before you go is you may see the XUID, and I want to talk a little bit about this. That, um, for example, if we go back towards our whitelist here, um, which you'll see the XUID, this is um, our unique identifier. Now, if you want to add that, if, if someone never joins in your server and you need to find their XUID, or if you're messing around with the permissions, um, the permissions JSON and give them permissions, because if you look at our, uh, let's go ahead and, um, Go towards our folder and open up the readme. Hello, I'm blind. Where did it go? There's usually an HTML file. I'm really blind. Is this it? Oh, wow, I'm blind. Okay, hello. So there's this script where if you give certain permissions, um, as soon as they spawn in, it's like, okay, this per, uh, permission is operator, and the XUID will uh, give that person the operator. So instead of the gamer tag, you need to find out what the XUID is, and if you want this specific person to be a member, uh, you need to find out what their XUID is, and uh, so on and so forth. So you can go to the XUID and, gra and type in their gamer tag. And right here's the XUID, but it doesn't seem to match what we have here because everything is all um, numbers and we have some letters here. So we need to convert our hex into a decimal. And now there's our decimal and now we're able to put in the, um, in the script with our 
X, U, I, D. So it's not really anything um, private. Anyone can find out what your X, U, I, D is through knowing what your gamer tag. So it's not really all that private. But uh, this is just for setting up permissions. I hope that this video was informative. Like, share, subscribe if uh, it definitely helped you out. Uh, think about uh, coming through on Patreon or sending me a dono uh, through PayPal. That would help out a whole lot. In the next couple of videos, I will show you how to import your realms map or a map that you have already worked on in single player and put that towards a server and vice versa. So uh, stay tuned for that video. I hope you guys have a dope ass day. Take care. Check out private internet access today. It's gonna act as your digital content because when you're sticking your things in places where they don't belong, you're gonna be fucking yourself over. Now, when you visit no-no sites, like when you're looking at stuff that you're not supposed to, or you're downloading things illegally, there is no logs that is kept by PIA. Now, the US Supreme Court is like, hey, uh, we need you to log all your users and we need to see if they're up to no good. And PIA is like, yo, government, we don't have logs. That's part of our policy, bro. So that gives you a extra confidence that you can download things illegally. Not I'm saying you should, but I'm just saying they don't keep logs, man. Now, if you can't afford for $10, give or take a, a month, then don't fucking click skip ad on my videos because I need that moolah. Buy PIA today. Thank you. Thank you for sticking around. Please feel free to watch my other videos. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, follow my social media. If you're feeling generous, check out my Patreon or send in a donation of any amount with PayPal. It really helps out with post-production, equipment, food in my belly, and also continue making free content for you guys. Links in the description. Y'all take care, and thank you once again.